29 years ago, almost to the day, two young men were killed in an Inglewood neighborhood. It was a cold case for months until Chicago police officers picked up a then 17-year-old for the murders who would be sentenced to life. That 17-year-old is now 46. And after serving 28 years in prison, today, the Cook County State's Attorney's Office dropped the charges against David Wright. It feels good, but at the same time, it's questionable. For the last 30 years, you done implemented a two families' mind that I did something that I didn't. So how do you change that now? You're not going to change the bill that you run. The charges dropped as the officers involved in Wright's arrest allegedly coerced the then teenager into a confession, although the officers have never been charged. As a 17-year-old kid, bring him to the police station and interrogate him for 14 and a half, 14 hours. At the end of the day, he signed a confession. We are done. And then he's criminally prosecuted and had a mandatory life sentence as a juvenile. Chicago have known this for the last two decades. What's taking so long? Also in court today, the family of one of the victims from the 1994 double murder case. If it wasn't him, then who was it? And we don't have any answers. And where is the justice? Tyrone Rocket was 16 years old when he was killed. Robert Smith was 26 years old. His sister, just 13 when it happened. You've taken two people who were loved off this earth, and now we don't have an answer. Wright will now pursue a certification of innocence. As for the murders, they are back to being an unsolved Chicago cold case. In Englewood, Leah Hope, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.